Hey there guys, and welcome back to Osiris Wrath. It's time for episode 13, first episode of part 3, Karma. So there we go, there's Osira being all pissed off, rage monster blowing up ships in space. Ah, that was a great episode. So, how are we gonna... Oh, Yashi's watching the footage. Alright then. What's he gonna do about it? Even August could not defeat you. Why? Why do you keep coming back? What is it that you are fighting for? And this power of yours? How can it surpass the power that took us 12,000 years to attain? Because Osara has just gotten that mad. And of course, the madder he gets, the stronger he gets. Oh, and this is Olga's yeah, Olga ship. He is too much of a threat. He must be stopped here and now. Ready the Brahmastra. Oh crap. If you don't remember, the Brahmastra is that giant Buddha-shaped Death Star thing that they had. And it's hidden in another dimension of sorts. Oh jeez. Yep, it's coming through that portal, which is bigger than the freaking planet. Oh dear. Look at how big it is compared to all the space. Look at how tiny all the spaceships are, like up there. Hey, we can barely even see some of them. Oh boy. I must say that is a pretty awesome shot, though. Like the thing ominously hovering over the planet. Alright, loading it up with the mantra. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I mean, sure, Osara is pretty much as strong as he's ever the strongest he's ever been. But is he strong enough to deal with this thing? Not the Brahmastra. Has she lost her mind? Olga, you cannot do this. With that one blast, do you realize how much mantra will be lost? All the souls that have been given for the cause. Do you not realize that this will hinder the coming of the Great Rebirth? Then we will just get more mantra. With the mortals under our control, our supply is endless. If we do not finish him now, there will be no Great Rebirth. Wait, I will finish Asura. Like you did before. If we finish him now, once and for all, he can never come back. That power is made for the eradication of the Goma. Do not waste the souls of the dead on the likes of him. This conversation is over. You will not interfere. Not let you do this. Ooh, Yasha. What are you doing? Going against the other deities? I wonder how that's gonna turn out. Definitely gonna be an interesting episode, though. I must reach the turret before the mantra finishes loading. Then why aren't you running yet? You're sure as hell taking your time there. Where are you going? Is it not obvious? I am going to stop this injustice. Lord Yasha has gone mad! Seize him! And hey, guess what? New playable character! Yes, this is not gonna be an Osara episode. Can you imagine my surprise? I did not see this coming at all. I mean, you've played as Osara for like 12 episodes, and you think you're just gonna be playing as Osara for the rest of the game, and then, whoop, no, you're playing as Yasha now. Pretty cool. So, yeah, move-wise, he pretty much operates the exact same as Osara. Of course, he's got some different attacks. He doesn't shoot fists, but these crescent-shaped things. Um, Yeah, attack-wise, pretty much he controls exactly the same. Although, he is focuses a little, more, a little bit more on speed instead of power. I mean, look at how fast he is. So fast. So... Yeah, I kind of, must say, kind of like him, especially if you get this mode thing. He becomes even faster. Look at him, you can barely keep up with what he's doing. Just zoom around like that, cutting up everything. Yeah, Yash is definitely a very cool character. 
Although it is taking an awful while to fill up that bar. I mean, we're not even halfway there. Come on, Yasha, I thought you were in a hurry. Then why bother fighting these guys? Why not just keep on running? It's not like they can pose a threat to you. I mean, if he's even half as strong as Osura is, then these guys still don't stand a match against him. Uh, well, I guess Yasha did kill Osura the first time around. So I'm not really sure if he's stronger. Probably not stronger than the current position Osura's in, being a giant rage monster and everything. But still, Yashia versus regular Osura would be a pretty close fight. I mean, probably the only reason Yashia won the first time was because Osura was uh, pretty banged up after fighting Wizen. I mean, he didn't even have any arms. He was at a severe disadvantage. I would love to see like a fair fight between those two. Anyway, let's wrap this up. Out of the way, big guy. Jeez, he is really fast. He's like the blue blur. Not Sonic, because Sonic is kind of... Eh. But whatever. Let's just get a move on already. Stay out of this! By the way, you cannot stop the Brahmastra now! Even gods are not above the approach. Yeah, it's really starting to seem as if Yashi is going to turn us back on Deus and the others. Is he going to join Osiris' side? Or is he going to become like the third faction in the war or something? Wonder how this is going to play out. The Brahmastra has entered the final preparation phase. Commencing Mantra Charge. Mantra Charge completion in T-5 minutes. It's begun. I must hurry. Yeah, well, you know, if you hurried earlier, you would have almost been there by now. But yay, running section. Sweet. And I love Yasha's theme music, it's so awesome. You're probably going to be hearing it an awful lot during this episode, and quite a few of the future episodes, because Yasha's part in the story is really only just beginning. It's only going to get better from here on out. Anyway, where... Okay, the Ramaster is like right behind there, but what are we even running on now? Are we like on it, one of its hands or something? I'm not exactly sure where we are. I mean, that big circle thing was like on its back. But are we looking at it from the front or the back? I don't know. Oh, quick time event. Oh, I'm gonna block my passage? I don't think so. And they're just like, dude. What just happened? I don't know, but I guess we need to follow him on our badass unicycles. Yep, now that's a badass unicycle. Sort of a motor unicycle. Looks cool, I want one. Of course, if it has like an internal gyroscope thing that prevents it from falling over, because that's why I've never ridden a unicycle in my life. Too dangerous, I don't want to injure myself. I don't want to damage my beautiful face. Which you are still not seeing. Deal with it. Anyway. Okay, broke them, but they just keep on coming, I guess. Eh, still need to fill up that bar. Uh, all these things we're running past seem to be the mantra loading tanks. How about we just blow those up and maybe that prevents the thing from firing? I don't know, it's just an idea. But yeah, let's deal with these guys. Out of the way. And now I have a badass unicycle. And where's he going with it? Oh, is he's gonna throw it through the wall? Well, that's a bit of a waste. I mean, that thing was so cool. Oh well, crap, more guys to fight. Not so much for being in a hurry. How about you just jump over them and keep on going? It's not like they can keep up. Hell, they needed the unicycle to keep up. So surely they can't keep up without those things. Just keep on running. Don't have time for this. And even with a big guy showing up. Well, I guess he is pretty good for filling up the bar fairly fast. And, ooh, that's a pretty cool attack. Very nice, Yasha. Oh, there's the big guy. I thought he was there already. Where'd he go? Or was there just another guy posing as the big guy? Or was I just mistaken altogether? I don't know. Oh, crap, three minutes. Now, I'm pretty sure there's not an actual... Oh, did we just stab him through the head? 
damn. It's just like, here, have my middle finger straight through your brain. Wow, that was pretty brutal. That's like worthy of Mortal Kombat. And jump straight over the ship. Look at him go. Oh, there he is. Having a little trouble spotting him there. And nice landing. Excellent. Okay, keep on going. We're in a hurry. Only three minutes. Don't worry about the timer, though. It's not like if... Oh, that really takes you out of the immersion. Freaking loading screen. That never happened before. At least I think not. But yeah, while we were running there, if we see, like, the Brahmaster in the background, then was that just some sort of space station or something? I guess, because that pretty much seems to be where we're going now. Alright, keep on running. Blow open the doors, because... Well, I don't know what happens if you don't blow them up. I don't think you come to a halt, probably just crash straight through or something. And... I'm not very good at jumping over stuff at high speeds. Oh, big guy on a floating platform with two big-ass guns. I can just keep shooting him non-stop, pretty much. We need to fill up the bar again. And I guess that is the this game's dominant mechanic. Come on. Jeez, that is taking up a lot of time. Or do we just need to reach the end of this track or whatever without that thing killing me? I don't know. Nice explosions, though. Uh, he can't... Oh. Okay, you do just crash through the door. Wait. Was there something in front of the Brahmastra's head earlier? Pretty sure there wasn't. Maybe it moved into position behind something or something. I don't know. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, though. But yeah, they're sending in starfighters now, and they... Oh, shooting missiles. Yeah, that's real nice. Here, have it back. I don't want it. What do I do with a missile? I can't store it anywhere. I don't have a magic backpack. Oh, geez, they're even bringing in a cruiser. Which isn't even trying to shoot me. Maybe I'm too close. Maybe it's going to cause too much destruction or something. Oh, well. Crap. We need to get there quickly. is genuine. We are in the right. <laughs> you need to live in the moment more. You think too much. Ooh, hey, nice. Also a cameo. Also August and Deus. But yeah, snap out of it, Yasha. You have a job to do. No time to hesitate now. It's do or die right here. Jeez, he is really going fast. All right. So how are we going to stop this thing from... Oh crap, we're not even close. There's like a whole fleet in front of it. With big guys with guns. Lovely. Okay. Ah crap, button mashing, I hate this. Oh, at least we're almost there. I suppose. Come on. Oh jeez, this is going to require a lot of mashing. Crap. Not going to make it, not going to make it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to fail that one. It's like unbeatable. You are out of time, Yasha. Ramastra, fire! I'm a fire in my laser. Come on, boom, there we go. Wish I had the actual sound effects for that, but I don't, so you'll have to deal with me improvising. Alright, clash of beams, who's gonna win? Asura or Death Star Buddha? Oh crap. Doesn't look good for Asura. No, 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 no. Ooh, this is gonna suck. Well, I guess next episode we're gonna be crawling out of hell again. Probably. Oh, yeah, he is so dead. And Yashi's like, oh, crap, I'm too late. Oh, and now he gets it done. And away we go. Why didn't he just fly faster to begin with? If he can just do that at any moment. Oh, I messed that up real good. Wait, is he going to kick it in the face? How is that going to stop it? Jeez, I can't even see him. Oh, there, there's a little little blue streak, like right in the middle there. Okay. 
Oh, activate the mantra power up thing. And all the seven deities. Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay, I guess if we can't stop it, we can at least divert it. And that's how the Grand Canyon was made. Lord Yasha's interference has diverted the beam. Damage report. Unable to fire. Damn you, Yasha! Why are you so mad? I mean, you still pretty much got Osura with it. He's probably not going to walk away from that one. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that doesn't look like someone who's very alive at the moment. Now what, Yasha? What are you going to do now? This is not the cause I supported. Yep, treason time. Or at least desertion. So, next episode, probably gonna be a pretty good one. Now, what do I get? Time score... S, oh sweet. S and... A. Oh well. Pretty much neat, just try to get as many S ranks on episodes as you can. Because you need to get like 5 S ranks on episodes to unlock the final one or something. Alright, next one. Time for the nice artwork and peaceful music and stuff. That explains more story. Alrighty. Oh, is that Sergei? Well, that has nothing to do with the contents of this episode at all. Oh, well, maybe it like takes place at the same time. So he's killing a whole bunch of Goma. How is he even doing that? He seems like a non-combatant in my opinion. Like what can he possibly do? He doesn't look very strong. Doesn't really look like a fighter. Hell, in episode 1 when Osor, Yasha, August and uh, Wizen were fighting all the Goma, he was pretty much sitting in the ship doing nothing. So apparently he can cut him up real good or something. Maybe he fights kind of similar to Yasha. Rip to shreds. I don't like that guy, he is so creepy. I mean, is there really any reason for him to look at the robot like that? And stick out his tongue, I mean, uh, uh, that guy just gives me the creeps. So, what's the report about? Your Yashi interfered and deflected the blast. I wonder how he's gonna take it. I wonder how Deus is gonna take it, I kinda wanna see that. Although, maybe that's in the next episode or something. Sergei at least saw it coming. Well. Oh, and Deus knows as well. Oh, it's gonna be a real good episode. So, see you guys for the next episode of Osiris Wrath. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.